Hi, it's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for visiting. I really appreciate it. I know you're all busy and uh, that you could be watching another video. So I just thank you for stopping by and I really appreciate it. So today I wanted to share with you the color catalog by Sarah Renee Clark, 250 color palettes for creative color inspiration, printable version. So there is the color catalog one and the color catalog two. And so when you buy these, you can print them and you can also download them to your phone, your iPad, your computer, and you get, they're interactive. So if you download it onto your iPad or something, you can um, like flip through the pages. You can also type in keywords to find the palettes, the color palette. And then also um, you get more than these. These are the only ones that I've printed, um, but there's some, I believe she has another book. These are the smaller books where she put like, these are the color catalog companion. For This one's for Prismacolor. This one's for Derwent Inktense. This one is Ohuhu Alcohol Brush Markers. And these are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. And I believe she also has one for like the Tombow Markers. And I don't remember the other ones. I have them on my little account on her website so but I need to print the other ones but these were the ones that I thought I would use the most because I have the Ohuhu the Faber-Castell I didn't have the Tombos at the time and I hadn't planned on buying the Tombow markers um, but these were the ones that I that I had so what's really neat about these um, well let me show you this one first this is the color catalog um, one volume one and I had it printed out at Barnes & Noble Printing so I could get it in a hardback. And, but you could have it printed anywhere or you could print it yourself. I don't have a color printer. I have a black and white one so I wasn't able to print it um, yeah, at, at my house. And then also um, I can print, you know how if you watch Sarah Renee Clark's videos she'll print out one of the pages and then she'll tr find her colors. Well I can't do that because I don't have a printer that will print the color. So. That's why I had it done this way. So when you get your download, you'll have the introduction, the instructions, and she goes over how she did um, the color matching here and then about the author and photo credits. And then you have the color palettes, except this one mine printed, and I didn't wanna, I hate to, um, like send this back and it's just gonna get thrown away. So there, these colors are supposed to be here and for some reason mine printed all the same color. For it, it took this one and printed, it took this one and printed it there. So see how it took the last color, but I'm fine, I don't mind. So it's really nice because you could find something like these are the keywords that you would look up. So you look up Christmas and all her Christmas palettes will come up or sweets. Colors would be like seafoam, terracotta and so forth. And then um, you'll get to choose. And then if you're doing this on your iPad or something, you know, it's all interactive. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to print it. In other words, what I like about the volume two is at the beginning she put Kind of like a, this table of contents right here so i really like that she did this so that way you could kind of just you could see every what's in the book and then so this is volume two 250 more color palettes so this one printed correctly as you can see all the colors are down here isn't that beautiful So I like having this as a hard copy. I like having it digital, but I also like the hard copy. Like I said, I don't have a printer, but sometimes I just want to look through a book that I can hold. And then what's really nice, so let's say you like this palette, color palette 353, and you want to use your Derwent Inktense. So you would get your Derwent, Derwent Inktense book and then let's see 353 you would go to that page in your book and 
and here it is, 353. And then it tells you the numbers here, and then you can um, color them here, and then you can also write the name. In fact, I think with my Prismacolor, I did that. I don't know if it's on this page. So this was the color palette that I was looking at. And so I wrote, this one's Light Aqua, Deco Peach, um, Scarlet Lake, and Crimson Lake. So this was a color palette that I used. Um, and then the, let's see, did I do another one? I was gonna say something about the paper, but I just, you could use any paper to print this. Oh yeah, I didn't do another one. So yeah, so it's really nice. So if we go to 353 in your favorite Castell book, Let's see, 353, it would be right here. And then you would have the pencils. So you could just go and get your pencils. You could swatch them here. You could write the color um, name if you like. So I thought that was really neat. And um, I, need, I need to use it more. I need to get it out and start um, using this to help me with my coloring. Um, so it's also nice. So let's say you have like let's see so if you wanted to do some like with one of these you could also um find this color but you could find the three colors that go because i know some of us and um, when you're shading your flower you want you, like three different like uh, are these like aqua green or something like that so you could also get um like find your shades with that that would go with it if that makes sense i don't know if i'm saying that correctly so because you know how when you're doing a flower you want to do the light dark and the medium light medium dark so you could do that so if the color palette has um th this one's actually nice because i think this one would actually show you like you i don't know do these three colors go together <laughs> you know to do one flower i don't know I'm still learning my colors. It just amazes me how you all are so, how you can see the colors. I can't see the colors. I can't put them together. So like if I was trying to get something, um, let me see if I have anything around me. Let's see. So like with this book, which I haven't read yet, I need to read it. Um, you see how the colors are right here? Like I could kind of see like the orange, but I wouldn't know how to make put these colors together to make that color. Um, what's another example? I don't have too much here. Um, I wish I had a painting or something. I didn't. So like this one, another book I haven't read yet. Um, I wouldn't know what colors to put together here. And like I was watching uh, Sarah Renee Clark where she was doing the painting and um, not painting, but she was getting like a, like a banana and she was trying to put the paint colors together. Um, there were some colors that she was putting in to, like she put red in a, in, to make a color. I don't remember what color it was, but she put red or, or a color that was totally what I didn't think would be in there. So it just amazes me how there's so many colors and, um, but I can't figure out which colors you would pull to make that one if that makes sense. I don't have a good example because I can't find anything that's really, um, like, like what colors would you use to make this grass? See, that's not, that's another one. It's not a good example, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will leave a link to, um, Sarah Renee Clark's website where you can purchase the color catalog it's really neat and you could use this for so many other things like my daughter will sometimes use it for her quilting so you could use it for you know if you want to decorate to find out what colors go together just so many things um that you can use this for other than coloring so anyway you probably use it for website design too but anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and remember to live a life filled with color. Cut so much prettier that way and y'all have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.